Thomas Milton Benson was born on July the 12th, 1927. Born to the loving parents of Thomas Benson Sr. and Carmen Benson. The oldest of four boys. His father was a department store clerk. His mother was a homemaker. The family lived in the 7th Ward, St. Rock area of New Orleans. But everyone knew him as Tom because he was named after his father. He was known by his middle name as a, as a child, Milton. Every day as a boy, he received 14 cents from his parents to ride the streetcar to school. This around the same time of the Great Depression. So on most days, he opted to walk to save his money. Those who knew him described him as an average student in school and a middling athlete, the kind of kid who could blend in easily. In 1944, he graduated from St. Aloysius High School. A year later, shortly before he turned 18, he enlisted in the Navy. He served for 18 months as a yeoman aboard the USS South Dakota, a battleship. When he returned home, he attended Loyola University on the GI Bill. Eight classes in, he decided college wasn't for him. He dropped out to take a job as a bookkeeper with Kathy Chevrolet on North Rampart Street. Diploma or no diploma, he showed a business acumen that saw him soon promoted to office manager and sales manager. General Motors noticed too and offered him his own dealership in Oakdale. The young Vincent declined. Later, he was offered a chance to run and eventually own a dealership in San Antonio. It would be the start of a major business empire. In 1978, he would buy the New Orleans car dealership where he got his start. It would be one of more 30 dealerships he would own along with interest in a number of banks. Over the years, Benson had earned the reputation of a no-nonsense businessman who has ruled with an iron fist the determination to succeed and what some have described as certain ruthless. Ruthless or not, he has demonstrated a soft spot for family members of which he hired to fill a number of positions in his businesses over the years. 85, 1985, hearing that John Meekham Jr., the then owner of the New Orleans Saints, wanted to sell the team and move it to Jacksonville, Florida. Tom Benson stepped in and purchased the team. It meant something to me to be able to give something back to the city where I got my start, Benson said. In the button-down world of the NFL ownership, earning a national reputation, his habit of second lining down the Superdome sidelines, black and gold umbrella in hand after St. Victories, the term Benson Boogie would thus enter the New Orleans lexicon. Before the hiring of Sean Payton and head coaches hired by Benson, including Jim Mora, Jim Haslett, and because nobody's perfect, Mike Dicker. Fittingly for the owner of a team called the Saints, Benson's a devout Catholic, having donated generously to church and church-related charities. In 2012, that generosity earned him and wife Gail the Pro Escalicia et Pontus Award, the highest papal honor that the Catholic lay people can receive. At least three football fields have been named after Benson in recognition of his financial help in making the fields possible. Benson's life repeatedly has been touched by tragedy. In addition to outliving his parents, he has buried two wives, all of three of his kid brothers, and two of his three children. As important as his family has been to him, Benson in 2014 engaged in a public feud with his heir. His only living child and her two children that devolved into a protracted court battle over his sizable estate. The case was settled in early 2017. Shortly after acquiring the Saints, Benson gained a reputation as one of the most popular and colorful owners in the league. He hired general manager Jim Finks and head coach Jim Mora, who led the Saints to their first winning season in club appearance. Benson's popularity later declined. However, after numerous attempts to persuade the state of Louisiana to construct a new stadium for the Saints to replace the aging Superdome, suggested that he might move the team elsewhere if said stadium were not built. His popularity hit an all-time low 
in 2005. After it appeared that he was trying to move the team to San Antonio after Hurricane Katrina ravaged New Orleans, he later stated that New Orleans would return for the 2006 season, which they did. The team's fortune improved drastically in the years and after their return, including a 31-17 defeat of the Indianapolis Colts on February 7, 2010. Benson recovered much of his popularity as well. On April 13, 2012, Benson brought the New Orleans Hornets, now known as the New Orleans Pelicans, from the NBA for $338 million. Besides newspapers, television stations, car dealerships, and pro sports teams, philanthropy was a major part of the Benson family. Benson was hospitalized on February the 16th, 2018 with the flu. He died March the 15th, 2018 at Ashna Medical Center in Jefferson, Louisiana at the age of 90. Gail Benson, his third wife, will oversee the Saints and the Pelicans. Don Benson can serve as an inspiration to all those from impoverished backgrounds to rise to become greater through hard work self-determination and unshakable faith. Rest in peace, Mr. Tom Benson.